it's a big year for women's golf in Michigan. And one of the huge events is the Michigan Women's Golf Association 30th anniversary. And with us is Francine Pegues, who's the president. And she's going to tell us a little bit about the celebration that's coming up in May. You're correct. It is in May, and we're really fortunate to be at Red Run. It is our 30th, and we're really very excited. A women's golf organization that has lasted that long, and to be able to cap 30 years by having a celebration with our founders. And we've invited them back to see where we are at this point in time. Debbie Williams Hoke and I'm very proud to be part of the Michigan Women's Golf Association as they celebrate their 30th anniversary. I started playing golf back in 1990 and had some wonderful experiences as Michigan amateur champion a couple years and just a lot of lot of fond memories with the Michigan Women's Golf Association. My name is Nancy Sarah and I'm on the board of MWGA, the Michigan Women's Golf Association. What the association has meant to me is that I can play by the rules with other women who play by the rules. It makes everything fair and on a level playing ground. I wanted everybody to know and to understand about the Michigan Women's Golf Association is that it's probably one of the hardest working associations I think anywhere in the country. My name is Regina Love and I've been a member of the MWGA for about 10 years now. The reason that I joined was because uh, I wanted to learn how to golf and when I first began golfing I shot a score of 140 and my husband said to me, don't tell anyone that you shot 140. So I joined MWGA. I've been to Skills Clinic. I've learned uh, how to golf and uh, I am now, my handicap is below 25 and it's been great. Sarah Wold, our governor and certainly the trophies named after you. Tell me about your impressions of the first round here at Wild Bluff. Well, I can tell the girls had a good time. They found a little trouble out there, but we had some nice scores. We had a low and gay. They had an 82. There were several 83s, and I saw some really beautiful shots, and we had some birdies. So I think it was great, and the girls played in uh, less than five hours. So uh, I think that was really great. We had beautiful weather, beautiful course. What more can we ask for? Sarah, this, uh, the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame has been around uh, for a while, and I know Thad's going to talk a little bit about the, the, the beginning of it, but, but it sounds like there's a resurgence of an effort to, to really make this a very viable part of golf in the state of Michigan. That's right, Bill. Uh, the Michigan Golf Foundation uh, made it a goal to get it started again. It started in 1982 and then uh, went till 1992. And uh, then it stopped, and uh, it's our goal to uh, get it going again. And we did have an induction ceremony last year. Betty was one of the inductees. Betty, you were uh, inducted just this last year, and right. we could talk about all of your honors, but, uh, but that had to be a special time it for you. It was a highlight in my life. I'm 
Janina Jacobs, live at the Washtenaw Country Club. We are celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Michigan Women's Golf Association. With me is Nancy Sarah, who is the president of the Michigan Women's Golf Association, and also Joyce Kazmierski, a Michigan resident golf pro, president, former of the LPGA teaching division. Growing up in, in Michigan and really all the support that I had, even though I grew up at a time where there were very limited competitive opportunities for me as a player, um, I just wanted to play. And uh, fortunately, there were enough opportunities out there and some very, very influential people that helped me along and, and gave me some opportunities that allowed me to keep golf as a career. My name is Lucille Battle. I have been playing with Michigan Women's Golf Association for several years. I like playing with them because I'm able to play with women who have the same handicap as myself. It helps to increase my skills. I enjoy the uh, skills clinics that they have. Uh, also the trips that uh, since I've been playing with them, I've been to Scotland, I've been to Ireland, and I've been to numerous courses in the Michigan area. Hi, I'm Susan Barely. To me, the Michigan Women's Golf Association means a lot of things, but mostly I always think of Sarah, number one, as its founder and the, the driving force that she as an individual has been for women's golf in Michigan. One of our honorees this evening is Shirley Spork, who's looking very glamorous, I must say. Hey, thank you, thank you. I made a quick change from the 18th green. I run in the locker room and get ready for this nice celebration this evening. And I feel very honored to be part of the celebration with Mary and Betty and uh, all the support that they're getting for the, the junior, or for the uh, college girls from three, three universities is very special. One of our honorees this evening is the longtime Michigan State University golf coach Mary Fossum. And Mary, you really started coaching golf right as T Title IX took hold. That must have been pretty exciting. Well, it really was exciting because uh, uh, at that time, we wanted to be sure and get started in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't have anybody that had too much uh, golf experience. Right. And of course, with Bruce being the men's coach, mm -hmm. they thought, well, let's talk to Bruce and see if he can soften her up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how we got we got started then, and uh, and that's exactly right. It was 1973 before we had any competition. One of the people being honored tonight is our favorite Betty Richard. Betty, you just look gorgeous. By the way, I I, I almost don't recognize you without a blazer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gave me such a good laugh. The children wanted me to wear it tonight just for your sister company. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's so many things that you have done, but there's one that I've always been intrigued by, and that is you were on the USGA Women's Committee for how many years? Well, well I think it summed up 25. What was the mission of the Women's Committee? The mission was to run the women's golf in the United States and uh, to be the uh, core central spot where women from across the country could get answers to questions mm -hmm. that they couldn't get from staff at Golf House. Well, we're at Travis Point for the 
really fancy legacy celebration in honor of a couple of great people we'll get to later. But right now, we have a couple people from the Detroit golf team, and you get to do something pretty special today. What's your name? Sarah Thompson. Sarah Montone. And uh, tell, tell our viewers what it was you were doing today. You were helping out the foursomes, right? Yeah. So what we did is we stood on one of the par fives, and basically we would just hit two drives for them and let them use whatever one they choose. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of pressure? Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was kind of uh, similar to what we get in our big tournaments when you have all eyes on you. I'm Pat Shelton. I'm currently membership director of the Michigan Women's Golf Association. I had been publicity director for many years and have been on the board for, oh golly, 20 years. Uh, I think it's a wonderful association for female golfers because all of our competitions are handicapped and flighted. So we get to play at our own level. We're playing against golfers of our own level. The MWGA is a hearty group. We always went up north, northern Michigan, to uh, play uh, over Memorial Day weekend. And one time, I remember, we had uh, started out in the sun. It turned to a driving rain with thunder and lightning. There was a um, hurricane in the area. And then it turned to sleet and snow. <laughs> and by the uh, last three holes, the sun came out and we tied our towels to the uh, carts to dry them out and we finished the round. We're really a hearty group. Hi, I'm Jill Rohr and I am a golf coach in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I coach the boys team and then I'm the assistant coach on the girls team. One of the things I've learned about is the Women's Golf Association and I'm very excited about joining the Michigan Golf Women's Association for many reasons. The main thing is that I finally am getting back into golf because I've raised my babies. I have one baby that's eight years old and I want her to get involved in golf and I want more young children to get involved in golf. So I'm going to join. I hope we get a lot of other members to join also. 